Today we're looking at shallow water banks. I'm going to be looking at, at an area that was restored because of vessel groundings. What we're doing is trying to study the recovery rate of these groundings and develop new techniques to restore these groundings faster. Well, when a vessel grounds, it creates an excavation, essentially, and uh, it destroys the seagrass and the community of the ecosystem. And this community takes about between 8 to 20 years to recover without an intervention. So we want to do restorations, you know, all these groundings collide with each other, and eventually they break apart, you know, the ecosystem, and we lose all the services that the ecosystem provides. Well, it's important for many reasons. First of all, because the service is lost. And um, what, I mean, what I mean by service, I mean the service that the serious community uh, gives to the environment, such as primary production, or the service as a nursery for animals to, to live in. And we bring back the, the services to the environment. So, you know, there's more space for animals to grow, you know, it's a nursery for animals. So essentially we're returning back to the ecosystem what was lost due to human impact. Here in Florida, for example, our rate of boating activities and licenses, boating licenses, is increasing drastically. And with that comes the impact on, on the resources. We're trying to develop a technique to restore this site faster and try to return the, the ecological services uh, to the ecosystem. But I mean restore, what we did was uh, restore the topography of the injury. We fill it up with uh, calcium carbonate sediments, crushed calcium carbonate, very small particles. We fill it all up almost to, to grade, and then we cap them with a sediment tube. It's almost like a sock, a big sock about one meter uh, long by 20 centimeters wide. And then we cap that injury and plant it, and we introduce fertilizer via bird stakes. That's what we did today. We went to look at them, you know, and these groundings took about a year and a half to get restored. And without the restoration portion, it would have taken 20 years, or most likely it will never be restored because it kind of fragments the ecosystem. So you have a bank that's been hit several times by a vessel. Eventually those, those uh, groundings collide with each, each other and break the bank apart. These banks, you know, they form thousands of years ago, 10,000 years ago or more. They used to be a small uh, bottom hard community and they started getting bigger and bigger, grabbing sand particles, creating these little tiny islands and eventually they'll become mangrove islands. Well, I guess I would tell them to make sure that they know the area they're going to, you know, to be familiar with the waters, you know, familiar with the boat they're using, make sure they read the charts and all the signs that are on the boat ramps, and make sure they know how to read the water, you know, the water is shallow, you know, stay away from it. If you see the water is brown, you know, it's, it's getting shallow. And just to be cautious that the ecosystem is a very uh, precious environment. If we keep destroying them, then they'll, they'll disappear.